Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try to discuss them with the help of different questions. So talking about this session today, recently RBI released its annual report for the year 2020-21. This was quite prominently in news these days and we are going to cover some highlights of this report. So some aspects of the report which are there in the newspapers these days, those will get covered in this very session. We will first discuss the highlights of the report and then move on to the questions altogether. So for all those who are watching this video for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon for all latest updates and notifications. You can also join our telegram group. In this very group, we share some prequences, the updates for all our videos and you can also post your queries over here. So now starting up with the session, as I've already told you, RBI has released its annual report for the year 2020-21. Usually RBI's accounting year was from July to June, but recently it decided that it will transition from this accounting year to April to March. That's the reason why this year's annual report states the time period of from July 2020 to March 2021 only. So the report states the RBI functioning and working for the nine months period. Okay, It's not for entire year because RBI has changed its accounting year. So this is the nine month report. What does annual report shows? This report is released every year by RBI and it shows the working and the functioning of RBI during the entire year. So what work RBI has been carrying out, what function it has performed, what different initiatives have been taken up by RBI, what, it's, what is its balance sheet, what is its position of the income it has earned or the expenditures it has incurred. So entire that thing is uh, there in this report and you can assess RBI's position reading this report and trying to understand it. So if I talk about this very year, this was a year where the entire world has suffered because of the pandemic and so did India. So just like other central governments or other central banks have done, same way Indian government and the Indian central bank has also taken up various initiatives to deal with this pandemic. Okay, be it providing some additional fiscal spending, be it foregoing some revenues, be it incurring more expenditures, infusing more capital in the economy, be it carrying out different functions to increase the liquidity, to provide more funding for lending. So all those steps have been taken on part of both the government as well as the central bank of our country. Talking about RBI, RBI has taken various measures in order to deal with the downturn which was going on in the economy, in order to improve the financial conditions of the country, in order to deal with the financial markets to ensure that they continue to function in a normal manner, then taking different steps to ensure the financial stability and the soundness of your entire payment and settlement systems. So everything has been done on part of RBI to ensure the financial stability. Now, if you rem now if, uh, we have been discussing everything which RBI has been doing in the past year through our RBI 2.4 sessions as well. So if you have been a student who has been going through all the sessions or all the PDFs which are provided to the enrolled students, then you might have uh, gone through everything, every function which RBI has performed in this very year. So just to provide you a few highlights, RBI has been undertaking different operations be it the long-term operations the targeted long-term operations the open market operations the twist operations or uh, or modifying its monetary policy to better deal with the economy be it reducing the cash reserve ratios be it taking different regulatory measures to provide the relief to the borrowers the moratorium related to the loans or be it coming up with a resolution framework for your different accounts so each and everything has been taken into consideration by RBI and various steps have been taken by RBI in that regard. So if I talk about the RBI's functioning the main thing RBI has to deal up is the banking sector. It has emerged as a priority sector for your RBI. So RBI has taken different steps in order to cushion the uh, banking sector from the ongoing pandemic situation. 
so rbi has taken different steps in order to provide more funding more loans to the banks more easier access to the working capital moratoriums have been provided then asset classification has been put up on a standstill uh, the time frames have been extended so that rbi don't, uh, so that the banks uh, don't need to classify the loans as npas and try to improve on the their working then uh, rbi also allowed the restriction on the payment of the dividend so that the banks have enough capital available to deal with the pandemic situation to deal with the stressed situation which is going on in the economy then it has allowed the restructuring of accounts and then the postponement of certain prudential norms was also allowed be it with respect to the capital conservation buffer be it with respect to the um net stable funding ratio so we have been covering all these things through our rbi 24 sessions as well so talking about the economic growth see the situation was not too good in this very past year but now as the cases have begin to fall again and the vaccination drive has been picked up so there are chances that we are likely to see growth in the near future so rbi believes in the optimistic scenario and feels that the effect the effects of the second wave might continue till only the first quarter of this year or might reach some or some spillovers might come to july as well but further we are likely to see a good position because this report is a report till the month of march so they are talking about the future aspects as well that in future after this march we are likely to see a a uh, better growth in the economy okay so we are better positioned than before we have had enough capital buffers we have taken different initiatives to increase the liquidity to deal with the situation in better manner by preparing ourselves to better deal with stress situation in this entire year okay that's the reason why rbi has not given new estimates for gdp it has till now predict it, it has not till now kept its prediction same as 10.5% of gdp okay and it thinks that there is likely to be growth the likely growth is like uh, going to be seen in future as well so a major factor to this economic growth a contributor to this, this economic growth is your credit growth as well if the banks will provide more funding in the economy if people have more money then they can invest it they can spend it which will get give a spur to your um, economy and ensure the economic growth okay Uh, so the credit growth can help contribute to your economic growth so bank rbi feels that banks now have enough liquidity various measures have been taken to provide more liquidity to the banks so banks are in a strong enough position that they will be able to provide the funding to the people if they want so banks have small strong position with respect to liquidity sufficient capital even in this stressed scenario so our credit growth which reached a very low level of 5.1% has again improved and we have seen a bit of growth in the credit as well so this growth is likely to be aided further in future because banks have enough liquidity to support the people by providing them the credit then the interest rates are also low so we can easily borrow at low prices and then there is government growth initiatives also being taken to support all of these things okay so this was about the credit growth now talking about a very important thing this is one of the most important thing of this report which is discussed all over the newspapers these days and it is with respect to the surplus transfer to the government so i took one of the sessions where i told you that the excess of your income which rbi has it needs to provide that surplus to the government so rbi decided to transfer 99122 crores of surplus to the government in last very session where i talked about the surplus we discussed that what could have been the possible sources of earning the surplus for the rbi so now as this report has come up we have the numbers in place which help us to identify those factors which have led to the surplus of this very major surplus being transferred by rbi to the government kya major sources rahe hain ye profits earn karne ke ye surplus earn karne ke jiski wajah se rbi itna zyada amount government ko transfer kar pa raha hai is report ke through hame wo numbers mile hain jisse hame pata chalega ki kaun se main sources the rbi ke ye surplus kamane ke so the major sources have been one 
the profit on the sale and redemption of the rupee securities second the profit from the sale of the foreign currency and third the non interest income so rbi ne kafi zyada profits kamaye hai foreign currency ki sale se rupee securities ki sale se aur kuch non interest income jisme aapke different profits aa jate hain non interest income might include your different profits like profit from your foreign exchange transactions from buying and selling of your rupee securities from buying and selling of your foreign securities and many other incomes so the non interest incomes has increased there have been profits from the rupee securities sale and from the foreign currency sale these have been the major factors contributing to the surplus of the rbi other than that we have also seen a fall in the expenditures is saal hamare expenditures kam hue hain and the major contributor to the fall in expenditure is the fall in the provisions rbi needs to keep some provisions for your contingency fund and some other provisions as well so this year because rbi's balance sheet has not grown to that extent last year rbi ki balance sheet 30% grow hui thi this year rbi's balance sheet grew just by 6.9% so rbi's balance sheet sheet grew by less amount and the provision which is to be maintained is some percent of your balance sheet only to agar aapki balance sheet ki growth kam hui hai to aapko kam percentage of balance sheet provisions ke form mein rakhna padega jis wajah se aapke provisions kam hue hai to aapka expenditure bhi kam hua hai so your surplus is nothing but your income minus expenditure so if your in uh, of your expenditure has reduced obviously you have you will have more amount of surplus so the fall in expenditure because of the fall in the provisions which has further been happened because of the fall in the balance sheet's growth are another reason for your surplus of the rbi so these are the major reasons okay non interest income reason profits on redemption of rupee securities reason it has quadrupled matlab char guna ho gaye hai four fold increase hua hai profits from sale of foreign currency and fall in the provision which has to be maintained okay now moving ahead the next thing is related to the bank frauds so what has been the status of bank frauds if i talk about the bank frauds which amount to rupees 1 lakh or more we have seen a fall in its value by 25% okay moreover the number of such cases have also declined jitne amount ka fraud ho raha tha the amount of that fraud has reduced and the number of cases of frauds have also reduced by 15% talking about the share of the public sector and the private sector banks the frauds from the public sector bank side have reduced both in number and value but if i talk about the private sector banks the frauds from their end have increased so private sector banks ke zyada fraud ke cases samne aaye hain vis-a-vis aapke public sector banks ke and the majority of bank frauds have happened in which area it has been with respect to the loan portfolio of banks jo bhi banks advances deta hai banks jo loans deta hai okay those advances those loans by the banks uh, they comprise of 99% of the total bank frauds happening okay moreover the frauds in the online space have also gone up so we need a strong digital infrastructure to better handle this so what rbi is thinking what are rbi's agenda for the coming year to better deal with these frauds so rbi is one thinking to enhance the fraud risk management system rbi wants to come up with a system which will help in better management of these frauds okay fraud risk management system then it is likely to adopt the technology to better deal with the supervision aspect so it will come up with various innovations in order to be uh, to improve on the subtech that is your supervision technology supervision badhane ke liye kaise aap technology ko use karoge aur apne supervisory processes ko more aur zyada efficient banaoge then it will also work on um, the early warning signal framework so it will come up with different a uh, thresh it might come up with different thresholds different uh, risk thresholds which will help decide that okay this is the early warning signal warning signal and this thing might get converted into a bank fraud so we need to take the action beforehand only then we have the uh, we have to strengthen the fraud governance and response system so better governance system to deal with these frauds we can monitor the transactions in a better manner we can set up a specific intelligence units a separate unit to deal with the frauds we can deal with each fraud separately as a unique fraud uh, and identify what things can be done to improve on it so this was with respect to bank frauds moving ahead 
talking about the digital payment scenario so we all are quite aware that because of the pandemic we have seen a big boost to the usage of the digital platforms there has been an increase in the proliferation of your digital modes of payments so um, if i talk about this digital modes as well there has been a fall in the usage of credit card debit cards पहले हम ज़्यादातर डेबिट कार्ड क्रेडिट कार्ड का यूज़ करते थे अब इसका ना यूज़ करके हम यू वगैरह का ज़्यादा यूज़ कर रहे हैं सो नंबर ऑफ सच ट्रांजैक्शंस विच डील विद क्रेडिट डेबिट कार्ड्स हैज रिड्यूस्ड बट दैट ऑफ यू एंड अदर आधार इनेबल्ड पेमेंट सिस्टम्स दैट द यूसेज ऑफ दैट हैज इंक्रीज ओके विद रिस्पेक्ट टू यू पी आई द यू पी आई ट्रांजेक्शन वॉल्यूम सोल्ड बाई टू एटी वन परसेंट ओके एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ यू पी आई ट्रांजेक्शन ऑल्सो इंक्रीज now it is very easy to use upi for our basic payments of our daily bills of our e-commerce bills of our grocery items so bahut easy hai upi ka use karna moreover the government if it is providing any relief effort, if it is taking any relief efforts providing subsidies providing some benefits it is also providing through the aadhaar enabled payment systems that is why upi and all such systems have seen a big boost and further talking about a digital initiative the rtgs facility has been allowed for 24/7 in december 2020 last year moving ahead talking about the bank's note bank notes in circulation so the number of notes both the volume of notes and the value of bank notes in circulation has increased so if i say a new rupee 100 note comes up so the volume of that that uh, bank notes circulation increase by one note and the value increases by rupee 100 agar ek naya note aaya 100 rupees ka circulation mein to volume ek note se badi aur value 100 rupees se badi to hamari value aur volume dono hi bank notes ki circulation mein badi hai so what has been the reason behind the rise okay we all know that the pandemic was going on so the situation is quite uncertain that what might happen in future so just like people have started hoarding the uh, basic amenities uh, their basic need items like the grocery items and all similarly they have also started they also started hoarding the cash jaise logo ne apne ghar mein ration bharna shuru kar diya tha basic grocery items rakhne shuru kar diye the taki lockdown ho jayega to pata nahi hamare paas wo cheeze hongi ki nahi similarly logo ne cash ikattha karna bhi shuru kar diya tha बैंक ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा अपने नोट्स उन्होंने विड्रॉ कराए पैसे अपने पास रखे ताकि फ्यूचर में कोई प्रॉब्लम आए तो वो डील कर सके सो एज अ प्रिकॉशनरी मोटिव फॉर होल्डिंग कैश ड्यू टू द पैंडमिक दिस नंबर ऑफ नोट्स इन सर्कुलेशन हैव इंक्रीज इनफैक्ट बैंक्स हैव हैड इनफ रिजर्व कैप्ट ऑफ दीज बैंक सो दैट दे कैन मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द पीपल द कैश रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द पीपल लोगों ने ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा कैश अपने पास रखना शुरू कर दिया है जिसकी वजह से जो नोट्स बैंक नोट सर्कुलेशन में आए हैं इकोनॉमी में वो इंक्रीज हो गए हैं एंड द मेजर इंक्रीज हैज हैपेंड ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपी नोट्स सो देर आर मोर बैंक नोट्स इन सर्कुलेशन बिकॉज पीपल होडेड कैश बिकॉज ऑफ द पैंडमिक एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम नंबर ऑफ नोट सबसे ज़्यादा किस डिनोमिनेशन के हैं फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज के आफ्टर दैट टेन रुपीज के नोट इज द हाइएस्ट इन नंबर एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट इन वैल्यू द हाइएस्ट शेयर इज ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड नोट टेन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड रुपी नोट सो टॉकिंग अबाउट आर बी आईज एजेंडा वॉट आर बी आई इज थिंकिंग टू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द बैंक नोट Uh, we all have discussed in one of the sessions where i talked about the soil notes the mutilated notes okay how rbi deals with that so rbi wants to come up with a better system for procurement of those notes and dealing with the new shredding and briquetting systems so kaise soil notes kharab notes ko shred karke unka proper disposal kiya jayega uske liye rbi naye system ke sath aayega RBI wants to come up with new system to deal with the shredding and requeting of your soil notes and deal with their better disposal. Then it also wants to come up with a state of art facility where it will come up with better security features for your currency notes. So to deal with your counterfeit note, to increase the security of note, it wants to come up with some additional better features. Then uh, taking different initiative to increase the lifespan of bank notes so that they don't turn soiled or mutilated. very easily and then uh, coming up with processes to better handle the notes and come up uh, with uh, some infrastructure for their maximum utilization kaise processing unki aur automate kar di jaye 
और टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज करके कैसे हम चीजें बेटर करें ऑल दोज है आर बी आई एजेंडा अहेड नाउ मूविंग फर्दर टॉकिंग अबाउट द पेमेंट सिस्टम्स वी हैव सीन अ ग्रोथ इन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ पेमेंट सिस्टम्स बट द वैल्यू ऑफ द पेमेंट सिस्टम यूसेज हैज ड्रॉप्ड सो वाई हैज द पेमेंट सिस्टम ड्रॉप इनिशियली वी टॉक अबाउट द पास्ट ईयर द कोरोना वायरस पैंडमिक जस्ट बिगैन सो वी फेस टू लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज ऑफ विच द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन अ basically on a decline okay the economic activity was not doing very well so the number of transactions be it rtgs transactions or other transactions fell moreover paper based instruments uh, paper based work also fell so number of transactions fell jitna aap rtgs ka use kar rahe the jitna paper based systems ka use kar rahe the jiske jiske through transactions ho rahe the वो सब फॉल की है क्योंकि इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी फॉल की थी जिस वजह से आपका पेमेंट सिस्टम्स में फॉल आया ओके सो सब ड्यूड इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी देन देर वो अदर रीजन ऑल्सो लाइक पेपर बेस्ड पेमेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ट्रांजैक्शंस फेल प्री पेड इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ट्रांजैक्शन फेल डेबिट क्रेडिट कार्ड की ट्रांजेक्शन फेल हुई हैं ओके यू की बड़ी है बट इनकी फेल हुई है सो दीज है सम रीजन बिहाइंड दी फॉल then rbi is taking a lot of in, uh, initi- initiatives with respect to fintech coming up with better technology to render the financial services i discussed about the rbi h the innovation hub which rbi set up last year then rbi has also various other initiatives in mind with respect to regulatory sandbox with respect to different online solutions it came up with the guidelines as well to enhance your digital platforms so all these things have been done by india and it, it wants to be a at a leading position in terms of having a digital ecosystem now moving ahead to the last a uh, very important topic of this report that portrays uh, that indian markets are in a risk of a bubble so when will your equity markets be in bubble okay if you suppose your equity markets are rising but that rise is rational wo sahi reasons ki wajah se rise kar rahi hai then there is no problem okay but when the rise is in equity market is not rational is not due to the valid reasons but such reasons which might in future turn out to be it uh, might turn out to be uh, not very good options for you then we say that the equity market is in, in bubble jab market un factors ki wajah se rise kar kar rahi hai jo future mein pata nahi aapko kya nuksan de de hai bahut uncertain hai bahut risk se associated hai tab hum kehte hain ki equity market mein bubble ban raha hai so wo jo growth ho rahi hai equity market mein it is not a rational growth and at any time the bubble might burst and the market will drop down so if we see that the growth is happening a sharp rally is there in the equity market despite of the pandemic despite of economy not doing well despite of a 8% contraction in gdp so aapka gdp fall kar raha hai aapki growth nahi ho rahi economy pandemic se suffer kar rahi hai fir bhi equity market itni badhti ja rahi hai so ho sakta hai ye aise hi badhti ja rahi hai koi logical reason nahi hai aur kabhi bhi jaake ye bubble burst ho jayega aur ye market जो इतना राइज कर गई है एकदम से ड्रॉप कर जाएगी सो वॉट हैपेंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च इन दी फेब ओनली दी सेंसेक्स बिगैन टू राइज इट वॉज एट ऑल टाइम हाई इट क्रॉस दी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड मार्क ओके यू कैन सी फ्रॉम पास्ट मेनी इयर्स दी स्टेटस ऑफ योर सेंसेक्स एंड इट रिसेंटली राइज टू अ रियली वेरी हाई लेवल इससे पहले का भी आप देखोगे तो नीचे लेवल पे ही थी एंड सडनली वी हैव सीन अ मेजर राइज इन आर इक्विटी मार्केट्स सो व्हाट हैव बीन द फैक्टर्स व्हिच हैव लेड टू दिस बबल इन द इकोनॉमी द वाइडनिंग गैप बिटवीन द असेट प्राइसेस रिलेटिव टू ग्रोथ हैज इमर्ज्ड एज अ ग्लोबल पॉलिसी कंसर्न हमारा जीडीपी तो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर रहा है हमारी ग्रोथ जो है वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर रही है लेकिन हमारे इक्विटी के जो प्राइसेस हैं वो बढ़ रहे हैं सो देयर इज सम गैप बिट इन बिटवीन एंड इट्स अ मेजर कंसर्न अगर हमारी ग्रोथ हो रही होती कंट्री की तब इक्विटी बढ़ रही होती देन इट वुड नॉट हैव बीन अ प्रॉब्लम सो वॉट हैज बीन द मेजर फैक्टर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू दिस राइज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर विच हैज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू दिस राइज इज द राइज इन द मनी सप्लाई एंड द फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स सो एफ पी आईज विच हैव कम अप टू इंडिया हैव इंक्रीज 
Moreover, the money supply has increased in the economy. People now have more money. RBI's liquidity initiatives, bank lending, more. All these initiatives have helped to boost the money supply. So, सबसे ज़्यादा important factor जिसने ये growth की है वो है money supply और FPI में rise. लोगों के पास मनी सप्लाई ज्यादा होगा पैसे ज्यादा होंगे लेकिन इन्वेस्ट दैट मनी सो दे आर हैविंग दैट मनी दे आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन इक्विटी फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर्स आर इन्वेस्टिंग दैट्स वाई वी हैव सीन दिस राइज इन योर स्टॉक मार्केट्स ओके अदर रीजन इज दी मॉनिटरी एंड फिजिकल स्टिमुलस टू इंक्रीज लिक्विडिटी जो भी गवर्नमेंट ने इनिशियटिव लिए हैं मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी के रिस्पेक्ट में फिजिकल स्टिमुलस के रिस्पेक्ट में आर बी आई या गवर्नमेंट ने लिक्विडिटी इंजेक्ट की है ऑब्वियसली मोर लिक्विडिटी मोर मनी इन द इकोनॉमी विल लीड टू मोर इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड लाइकली टू फर्दर लीड टू योर इन्फ्लेशनरी असेट प्राइजेस बट मेजर फैक्टर हैज ओवरऑल हैज बीन दी मनी सप्लाई एंड एफ पी आई फॉर दिस प्राइज इन दबल टेन इकोनॉमिक प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स की फ्यूचर में जाके आपकी इकॉनमी इंप्रूव करेगी ये भी एक फैक्टर हो सकता है कि लोग इन्वेस्ट करेंगे और इक्विटी के प्राइजेस बढ़ेंगे बट इट इज हैविंग लेस इम्पैक्ट विज वी मनी सप्लाई एंड दी एफ पी आई दैट हैज बीन अ मेजर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दी हाईलाइट अबाउट दी ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट सम इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स विच वर्क वाइट प्रोमिनेंटली इन दी न्यूज पेपर्स दीज डेज सो नाउ लेट्स जस्ट कवर द क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर थारो विद दीज हाईलाइट यू कैन ईजली आंसर दैम The first question says that RBI has been able to transfer a higher amount than anticipated to the government as surplus around ninety nine thousand one hundred twenty two crore due to which of the following major reasons? So the first one is not a reason because the profits have led to the surplus, not the losses. So it is incorrect. Okay. Second says rise in profits in the by the sale of foreign currency. This is correct. Third is the interest income, non interest income has increased. This is correct. So answer is option D. Moving on to question number two, RBI's annual report talks about bank frauds and majority of frauds are with respect to loan portfolio, ninety nine percent. Which of the following is incorrect about the status of bank fraud? So if I talk about incorrect, the answer is E, which says share of private sector bank decreased. It has increased. Okay, so option C statement is correct, and the one which is incorrect is option E. Other statements are also correct. I have discussed. You can just read these statements and you can identify that the answer is option E. Moving on to question number three. According to RBI, bank notes in circulation increased during this year. Both the value and the volume of bank notes increased. Which of the following was a major reason behind the increase? I told you that because of precaution, as a precautionary measures because of the pandemic, people are keeping more money. Uh, and that has led to an increase in the bank notes so answer is option a moving on to last question it says rbi sees a risk of bubble building in equity markets as prices of risky assets surged the sharp rally has happened despite the contraction in gdp which is a main driver behind the rising stock market so i have told you a number of time the major driver is the increase in the money supply and the fpi this was all for today's session i hope this session was useful for you all With this I would like to end up the session thank you so much